Hello guys, I'm Rebel and welcome back to Anybody Can Code Python series. Today we'll be discussing about decision making statements in Python. But before that, let me show you a program to check for voting eligibility. Let's give 22. Do you have your voter ID? Let's give yes. As you just saw on giving 22, the compiler has written that you are eligible to vote. Now let's rerun and try giving some other age. Say 17. So it says that you are not eligible to vote. So that is because according to the voting eligibility criteria, when a person's age is 18 and above, he is eligible to vote, otherwise he is not. Here you can see that this program handles two conditions. One is 18 and above and the other is below 18. So when a person enters his age, a decision must be made. And that is made possible by using decision making statements. Since these statements deal with conditions, these are also called as conditional statements. So basically there are four conditional statements. The if statement, the if else statement, the if elif ladder and finally the nested statements. Firstly, the if statement. So these are the simplest of all. So it happens to check whether the given condition is true or not. If it is true, then the if block gets executed. Now let's try writing a simple program to check if the given length and breadth forms a square or not. Now let me take the input from the user. Length is equal to input of enter length. breadth is equal to input of enter breadth. And now we all know that the square has equal length and breadth. So let's use that as the if condition here. So this is the syntax of the if condition. Now let's implement it in our program. If length is equal to breadth. When this evaluates to true, print, it's a square. Let's run this. I'll give 5, breadth also 5. Since the if condition is satisfied, the if block got executed. Now let's rerun this and give different values 6, 7. As you just saw, it doesn't written anything. So that is because we haven't written any code for that. In such a case, you can use an if else statement. So this is the syntax of an if else statement. Basically on using an if else statement, whenever the if condition fails, the else block gets executed. So here is how it can be done. Else print, it's a rectangle. Let's run and see. 7, 9. It has written it is a rectangle. So that is because the if condition has failed and so the else block got executed. Moving on to the next, we have the if elif ladder.
So guys, this is the basic syntax of an if elif ladder in Python. The elif statement works just the same as the else if statement in other programming languages. It basically gets evaluated when the previous if condition fails. Normally, the elif statements are used to handle multiple conditions. Here, we have handled three conditions. And similarly, you can use as many elifs as you want to specify multiple conditions. To make you understand this better, let's write a program to do temperature conversion. Firstly, you need to get an input from the user asking him to enter a temperature. Temp is equal to input of enter a temperature. Probably like this. So if the user enters a temperature in Fahrenheit, then that must be converted into Celsius value. Suppose if he enters a Celsius value, then that must be converted into Fahrenheit. So here, if you see, there is an integer part as well as an alphabet that denotes the type of the temperature. But we only want the integer part for further calculations. So let's fetch that alone and store it in another variable. Integer value. This square bracket is called as the slicing operator in Python. So this is used to slice only the last element. The last element is specified as minus 1 in Python because the indexing starts from minus 1 when counted backwards. So by using this comment, we can fetch only the last element. And also let's save the last element in another variable. Degrees is equal to On doing so, we can use it later in our conditional statements. Now, let's introduce an if elif ladder where in the if condition, let's check if the user has entered a temperature in Celsius. And if so, convert the Celsius value into Fahrenheit using the formula. If degrees dot upper of is equal to C So this is the formula written in normal terms. Let's see how to write it in Python. Result is equal to If you see, according to the operator precedence rule, the values that are enclosed within a parenthesis gets evaluated first, followed by the other operators. So in this expression, this value gets evaluated first and then it evaluates the rest of the operators. But if you see, there are two other operators, division and addition. Which do you think gets evaluated first? 
So according to the precedence rule, division operator has higher precedence than the addition operator. So it performs division first and then adds the result with 32. So this is the operator precedence table where you can see that the operators are listed from higher to lower priority. Now coming back to the program, after writing the formula, Just specify the value Fahrenheit in the variable conversion. And after that, let's introduce an ELIF statement to check if the user has entered the temperature in Fahrenheit. ELIF And then write the formula to convert the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Result is equal to int of round of Suppose if the user makes any mistake while inputting, then let's prompt him to enter the temperature correctly using an else statement like this. Else. Enter the input correctly. And then quit. And then display the converted temperature by using a simple print function. Print. The temperature in Now let's run and see if all the conditions works fine. Let's give 32 Fahrenheit. So the if condition works fine. Let's rerun. I'll give 0 Celsius. So the elif condition also works fine. Now let's give 34 and here the else condition also works fine. So that is how the if elif ladder works in Python. Likewise, you can use an if elif ladder inside another if elif ladder and that is called as nesting statements in Python. You can also nest any such statements in Python. And here in this program, I will add another if elif ladder to display the climate based on the temperature given in Celsius. Since it is about Celsius, we have to write the if elif ladder inside the elif block. If the result is greater than 40, print too hot. Elif result greater than 20 and result less than 40 print pleasant else print too cold Let's now run this. Let's give a Fahrenheit value. It has written too cold because the Celsius value is below 5 degrees. 
So that is how nested statement works in Python. And guys, there is an amazing feature in Python called as ternary operator, which will allow us to write the same code in just a single line or two. The ternary operator evaluates like this. For example, let's consider this part alone. We'll get the input from the user. Result is equal to temperature so on using ternary operator this code can be written like this print The elif statement is separated as else and if. Else pleasant Now let's see how this ternary operator turns out. As you just saw, the ternary operator works just fine. Usually, in most programming languages, there is a statement called a switch which uses the handle multiple conditions. But that is not available in Python because the mapping data type called as dictionary is more than enough to map a data from a key. So guys, not to worry if you don't have any idea about dictionaries. I have explained about it in one of my previous tutorials. Check it out using the link below and you will surely get to know why. So that's all for today. You can try out some simple challenges that we have created. The link to it is also attached in the description box. And next, in the next tutorial, we'll be discussing about Python loops. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. See you all in the next. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.